Konnichiwa and good morning everybody. Welcome to the basic Japanese language class for beginners. We have been having these classes for quite some time now. This is our sixth class today and I hope that all of you are actually practicing at home and doing whatever we have done in the previous lessons. Basic reason for this is when you practice you practice loudly and by doing so one you are actually memorizing everything and the most important part that you are doing is actually uh, you are uh, listening to what you are saying and once you listen to what you say you actually know whether you are pronouncing it correctly, whether your diction is alright, your intonation is alright and also what you are saying is audible to the other person or not. So, please try to do it loudly whenever you are practicing. Now, in our, in our last lesson, we had done kore, sore and are. If you remember, kore is for this, sore is for that and are is for that over there. Now, let us see, there are these two gentlemen here, A san and B san. Both are standing very close by. So, this object here is kore for both of them and B san is also pointing at something far away which is far away from both of them. So, again that could be are as it is far away from the listener and the speaker both. A san could easily ask are wa nan desu ka and B could say are wa ginko desu or vice versa. This is what we had done last time. This is a small revision of what we had done last time. Now, today we are going to do something new as we have been done doing in previous classes as well. How much is it for? Ikura desu ka? So, this new word ikura. Ikura is an interrogative word. We will do price today. It means what is the price of this object? Now, as we are doing price, we need to do our numbers. Numbers we have done till 80 so far. Today, we will do from 81 to 90. So, you could again repeat after me please. Hachiju ichi. Hachiju ni. Hachiju san. Hachiju yon or hachiju shi, hachiju go, hachiju roku, hachiju nana or hachiju shichi, hachiju hachi, hachiju kyu and I hope you got it right. Please, I want you all to practice at home and not just leave in this PPT. Just like this, you are supposed to practice it also. Please keep that in mind, that is the most important part. Now, there is a small radio conversation for you. Please listen to the conversation carefully and let me see how much you have understood and then I will explain each of it to you. すいませんリンゴはいくらですかご百円ですスイカもご百円ですかいいえスイカは七百円ですそうですかすいませんあのみかんの箱はいくらですかあれは五百六十円ですあのみかんの箱をくださいそう well the conversation is between two people, Tanaka-san and sales girl. Now, from this you can make out that this is a shop and it is a vegetable store. 
So, Tanaka san has gone to buy some vegetables at this store and he is going to ask price of all these different vegetables and fruits. I will read it out first to you and then explain everything. Sumimasen, ringo wa ikura desu ka? 500 yen desu. Suika mo 500 yen desu ka? Iie, suika wa 700 yen desu. Sou desu ka? Sumimasen, ano mikan no hako wa ikura desu ka? Are wa 560 yen desu. Sumimasen, ano mikan no hako wo kudasai. So now, I will explain it to you. Sumimasen, you have already done. Ringo is an apple. Wa ikura desu ka? Ikura is the new word over here. Ikura means how much? What is the price of Ringo? So now you will see that the pattern does not change over here. Ringo wa, the subject, Ringo wa ikura desu ka? Just place ikura over here after wa and use desu and ka and it means how much is it for? Now in our previous lesson we have done multiples of 100. If you remember 500 was given over there which is gohyaku en. So this says gohyaku en desu, 500 yen. Suika mo gohyaku en desu ka? Suika is also for gohyaku en. Iie, suika wa 700 yen desu. So desu ka? Now this is new, so desu ka means, oh I see, sumimasen. Ano mikan no hako wa ikura desu ka? Ano means that mikan no hako over there, that mikan basket, that mikan box over there wa ikura desu ka? Are wa 560 yen desu, that is for 560 yen. Ano mikan no hako wo kudasai? Please, please give that mikan box to me. Please give that mikan box to me. So this was the conversation. Now again you can see this is in your script. Simple kanji characters are given. N is there, that is the Japanese currency, N and it means a circle also. These numbers are there. We practiced multiples of 100 earlier. Now you can use them for asking price. And of course this is your translation and please again I would like to tell you that translations may not be exact word to word all the time. It is generally what you would say in English. Now, the word ikura which came in the conversation in the beginning is an interrogative word and is similar in meaning to how much in English. It means how much. It is a question word and is most of the time used to ask price of objects. For example, kore wa ikura desu ka? Particle wa generally has the topic over here. We have done this pattern earlier also in the beginning in all the other previous chapters. So after topic wa will always come. Now this is an interrogative word, a question word ikura. Now you will notice the pattern as I told you earlier does not change at all, it remains the same. Topic could be anything. Over here we are doing kore and sore. Kore wa ikura desu ka? Kore is actually pointing at something, pointing at something and saying what is, what is this? A san is over here, what is this? Or something over here, sore wa ikura desu ka? So ikura is how much? Also you can instead of kore, you can also put a noun over here, noun hon wa, hon wa ikura desu ka?
時計はいくらですか。メガネはいくらですか。So you could replace これそれ with メガネ時計本。Actually name the object and then ask the price. Now, yen or n in Roman, yen in Roman English or n in Japanese, n is the Japanese currency and it is written with a y and two bars here, actually like this, like this. This is yen and it is written after the price. So, hyaku n or hyaku n. That is how it is written in Japanese. As is given over here, yen is the Japanese currency and is denoted by the English alphabet Y with two horizontal bars on the stem and is pronounced as n in the language. It also means Circle. N also means circle, and it 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 also means circular. So, go hyaku n, nana hyaku n, or nana ju n, ringo wa hyaku n des, or ringo wa hyaku n des ka. Now, this is a this is an expression. So des ka, as you can see over here, this is an expression. Used when the speaker receives new information and is surprised and is showing that he or she understands it. It is quite similar to I see, is that so? Really in English. So desu ka? Kore wa hyaku en desu. A so desu ka? Pen wa go hyaku en desu. So desu ka? And intonation is always. Rising so desu ka. So the intonation is of surprise. Intonation is your intonation is a little rising intonation. As you can see over here in this small kaiwa, kore wa anata no desu ka? Iie, watashi no dewa arimasen. Ah, so desu ka? Oh, I see. Is that so? Now over here it is more flat. I have understood. Now, this word ano was there in our conversation. So, this is again from the series of ko, so, a, and do. Just we need to add no over here and it becomes kono, sono, ano, and dono. Now, when you are saying kono, what you are actually doing is you are naming the object, you are pointing at the object and also naming the object. For example, hon, kaban, toke. So, you point at the object and you say sono hon that book kono kono kaban kono kaban this kaban over here sono kaban over there this is far away from the speaker far away from the speaker far away from the speaker and this is close to the speaker so similar to kore sore and Similar to kore, sore, are, we use kono, sono, and ano. Kore, sore are, of course, demonstrative pronouns. These are demonstrative adjectives. Th there is a big difference over here. These are only to be used for things, inanimate objects, and kono, sono, ano can be used for inanimate and animate both because you are actually naming the person or the object. So, now what do you do is 
この時計は。So please remember with これそれ and あれ、わ will come immediately after that。これそれあれは。But over here このそのあの時計 the noun plus。Why is going to come? Please remember that this is very very important. You always name the object or person with kono, sono, and ano. Kono, sono, ano. Plus noun plus wa with kore, sore. Are plus wa. That's the difference. So please remember, they are used in exactly the same manner. You point at a thing and then you say kono, sono, and an. Depending on where you are with respect to the object or person. Now, there was another interesting thing in the conversation, which was. Something. O kuda sai. Something o kuda sai. Something would generally be a noun. O kuda sai. Together means, please give that to me. Please give it to me, or I am going to buy it. As Tanaka-san was um, in a vegetable store, then naturally he was wanting to buy. Vegetables or fruits. So then he says, "Please give me the fruits. I am going to buy the fruits, or please give it to me." So because he was in a shop, then it was, "Please, I am going to buy it." So when you want to buy something, you say that name that thing and say that o kudasai something o kudasai noun o kudasai. Please name the noun and then o kudasai. Now kudasai over here, kudasai itself, it is used to. Request for something. Later on, we'll be of course doing this in detail when we do the verbs. But for the time being, just remember it as o kuda sai together with o. Please give, please give this to me. The to me part is understood from conversation, from context. Now you have in this a lot of pictures over here for you. These four things: kutsushita, toke. Kasa and pen. What you need to practice with your friends is kono hon wa ikura desu ka. So the answer would be sore wa ni haku en desu, or sono hon wa ni haku en desu. So please point at the object kono hon wa ikura. いくらですか。この本。この本はいくらですか。This could be answered as その本は one. It could also be それは two. So you could easily, you can see now, you can easily replace この本は with その本は with Sore wa in your answer. Kono hon wa ikura desu ka? For example, kono pen wa ikura desu ka? You could always say sore wa hyaku en desu, whatever the price may be. Sore wa hyaku en desu, or sono pen wa hyaku en desu. So now you have the pictures over here. Kutsushita and the price given. You could. Answer, ask, and answer with your friend, and practice. Now, in the second part in this practice sheet, we have kono hon wa ni haku en desu ka? Sono hon wa ni haku en desu? Hai so desu? Or hai sore wa ni haku en desu? Or iie so de wa arimasen? So now we have done this one over here. この本はいくらですか
you can replace this like this and also instead of ikura over here you can put price ni hyaku en desu sanbyaku en desu go hyaku en desu sen en desu isn't it and you can ask kono hon wa ni hyaku en desu ka so the answer could be hai hai sono hon wa ni hyaku en desu はい、そうです。short answer you have done。はい、そうです。はい、それは200円です。<coughs> or if you want to say no it is not so then いいえ、それは200円ではありません。or いいえ、その本は200円では。So, you could answer in yes and you could also answer in no. You could answer in kono, you could answer also in kore or sore. So, you have so many options. You could practice with your partner please in a similar manner. All the words are given here. Toke, shatsu is shirt. Skato is skirt. Shosetsu is novel. And kutsu, you already know, is shoes. So you could practice like this with your partners, but please, please practice loudly. Now there is a small radio conversation for you. Please listen to the conversation carefully and then I will explain each of it to you. Suimasen, ano kutsu shita wa nylon desu ka? Dono kutsu shita desu ka? Ano kutsu shita desu. Are wa momen desu. Ano momen no kutsu shita wa ikura desu ka? 240 en desu. 240 en no kutsu shita wo kudasai. Arigatou gozaimasu. So, this is a simple conversation between two people, Tanaka san and the sales girl. Now, this time Tanaka san is not at a vegetable store, he is in a department store and he wants to buy socks. The only new thing over here is dono. So, now I am going to tell you what dono and dore are. Sumimasen, ano kutsu shita wa nylon desu ka? Nylon is nylon. Dono kutsu shita desu ka? Which kutsu shita are you talking about? Dono and dore both mean which one of the two or three things you are talking about. You can have three things in your hands, in your hand or two things in your hand and you could say dono chok desu ka? Kono chok desu ka? Kono chok desu ka? So, which of the two or three chalks you are talking about? Dono chalk desu ka? Dore desu ka? So, that is what dono and dore mean. Ano kutsu shita desu. Are wa momen desu. So, you can see very, very easily you can change ano into are. Ano momen no kutsu shita wa ikura desu ka? 240 en desu, which you know. 240 en no kutsu shita o kudasai. Arigatou gozaimasu. That's the last thing you have to say thank you for buying this at our shop. Now, this is your script. You can see katakana, hiragana, and kanji over here. This is simple kanji ni, hyaku, yon, ju, and en. So, ni, hyaku, yon, ju, en. 240 n. Then this is your translation in English which you can go over. Now you have dono and dore over here. 
read it carefully and I am sure you will understand. Kore wa hon desu. Kono hon wa anata no desu ka? Does this book belong to you? Now a simple, a very small conversation for practice again. Suimasen, kono enpetsu wa ikura desu ka? 200 yen desu. Sono enpetsu mo 200 yen desu ka? Iie, kono enpetsu wa 470 yen desu. Suimasen, sono enpetsu wo kudasai. Well, this is a small conversation between Rao San and salesman again as he is again at a shop. Now, this time it is a stationary shop. So, the conversation is Sumimasen, kono enpitsu wa ikura desu ka? 200 yen desu. Sono enpitsu mo 200 yen desu ka? Iie, kono enpitsu wa 470 yen desu. Sumimasen, sono enpitsu wo kudasai. So, well, he wants to buy pencils and he is asking whether this one is for 200 and that one is for 200 or not and the shopkeeper says, no, it is not for 200, it is for 470 yen. What you need to notice over here, which is more important, is the difference between wa and mo. Kono en pitsu wa. 200 yen desu ka? Hai. Hai. So desu. Kono en pitsu mo 200 yen desu ka? Iie. Sono en pitsu Wa 200 yen arimasen. So now over here, wa is there. Kono enpitsu wa 200 yen desu ka? Says hai, so desu. Over here he uses mo instead of wa. Now you can do this, you can replace wa with mo if you are talking about the same thing about Empitsu, but you cannot do vice versa, you cannot replace mo with wa. Please remember that. Kono empitsu wa 200 yen desu ka? Kono empitsu mo 200 yen desu ka? Is this also 200 yen? And then again, iie sono empitsu wa. Now that empitsu becomes the subject and sono empitsu wa 200 yen dewa arimasen. Now, we have A san and B san over here. Kore wa ikura desu ka? Kono pen wa 200 yen desu. So, what you can do now is you can replace kore with kono, ano, sono, and also you can replace it with names of things budo, which is grapes, ringo, which is apple, mikan no basketto, momo no hako. Momo is peach and hako is box. Toke is watch. So, well, you can also replace all of this with these words given over here. If you are using the name of the objects, then before that, kono will come. If you are just pointing at things, then only kore will suffice. Now, kanji characters in class we have done from 1 till 10 and a couple of more kanjis and I think you are getting familiar with kanji now. Kanjis are very interesting actually. Once you understand them, once you know how to write kanji characters, once you start thinking in kanji it becomes very interesting. So, we have some more kanji characters for you which we have done in this lesson some similar uh, looking kanji characters. One of them is N, N, N is written like this, 
1, 2, 3 and 4. Once again 1, 2, 3 and 4. That is how n will be written. n means round, n also means a circle or circular. The stroke order 1, 2, 3 and 4, n. This is n. So, every time you write or ask price, then it is hyaku n in Japanese and hyaku n in English. That is how you will write. Now, another similar looking character to n, this is nichi. I will write it here. Nichi. Nichi. You have done Nihon, is not it? Nihon means Japan. We have done this in one of the previous lessons and also we are doing this language Nihongo. Nihon and Go. I am not making the kanji over here for Go. It is a little difficult for you. So, you will be a little too boggled. We will not do Go at the moment. We will do Go later. Nihon. So, this character Nichi, Nichi over here, Nichi. So, how do you, how do you think this character has come into being? What does it mean? What does it signify? Like I just told you, yen is for circle and is being used for money now as a currency because money in olden days was either round or elongated. What does this character signify? Well, this is related with day somehow. How? Because sun decides, divides the day into two. It divides the day into day and night. Thus, you cannot, as you cannot make this in, make kanji characters like this, you have to have it in lines, in straight vertical horizontal lines. So, this has been changed into this and this division for day and night. So, any time you see this character written anywhere, it means it is either related to day, to sun, to light, to any of these or date or time, it is related to that. So, please this new character for you, it is four strokes, one, two, three and four. So, anywhere you see this written, it signifies light, day, date and of course, sun because all of it, it is finally related to the sun. And of course, we have done this Nihongo, Nihon, Nihon which is Japan. Now, another similar character to Nichi over here, the second one, Nichi over here, this one similar to this. We have done Ichi, you remember, Ichi a single line which means one. Just by adding this to this, it becomes Hyaku. Now, this is not the way to actually learn characters, learn kanji characters, but for, for you, for the time being, it is easy because you have done this character now, you know what it means. It has nothing to do with Nichi or Day over here at all. This is a new character completely, but how it has been made is what I am trying to tell you. It is easy to memorize like this, Nichi, this and this. Of course, the stroke order is not like this, stroke order is like this. This is the proper stroke order. So, please remember this stroke order for Hyaku. Hyaku means 100 over here. This part was just for you to learn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This is Hyaku. Once again, 
some new words with kanji characters. You have already done these words. I am just putting kanjis for you. All the kanjis also you have done. So, now you will see ju en, nihon. I just told you nihon. Nichi you have done just now. Ichi nichi. Another new word for you. Ichi nichi means one single day. Juni nichi, the twelfth. We will be doing these, these characters later on also. Now, Hyakunin is hundred people. Kyu Hyaku is nine hundred. and Hyaksai is 100 years old. So, please these are just words for you to remember with these characters that we have done today. Now, simple vocabulary, the vocabulary that we have done in this lesson. I will just read it out, please get the pronunciation. Budo, Ringo, Mikan, Meron, Suika, Ramon, Momo, Pineapple, Ninjin. Tamanegi, Jagaimon, Okura, Satsuma Imo, Hako. With this, I would like to end our class today. Soledeva Minasan, Arigato, and let us meet again next time. また明日会いましょう。